Between Mars and Jupiter, there is a large void, an area to study that astronomers enjoy. A gap with a ring made up of millions of planetoids, or also known as a belt of asteroids. Hurtling through space in their orbit round the sun, these large irregularly shaped rocks have a lot of fun. Made up of different rocks and metals, each asteroid is unique. Let's go out and find some and see who we can meet. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space in an expansive void. Most of them won't hit us, so don't be paranoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go meet the four largest known asteroids. My name is Ceres, the largest asteroid to be discovered. But now I'm classified as a dwarf planet. My true self has been uncovered. I'm the largest known object in the asteroid belt, it's true. I have a thin atmosphere that could contain water vapor from my surface, too. My name is Vesta, one of the four largest asteroids known. I have a unique surface like that of terrestrial worlds long ago. My surface used to be very active and was covered in lava flows. I have a huge impact crater so deep that my inner mantle is exposed. My name is Pallas, the second asteroid discovered after Ceres. I have an eccentric inclined orbit. I like to orbit differently. I'm the asteroid Hygieia, but scientists discovered that I'm round, which means I finally qualify, and I'm a dwarf planet community now. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids, careening through space in an expansive void. A collision with one is something Earth should avoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go and meet some more asteroids. I'm Ida. I'm special because I have a friend at my side. His name is Dactyl, my moon, and he's only about a mile wide. We travel in the asteroid belt together. It's good to have a friend beside me. There are hundreds of other asteroids that have moons or are binary. I'm Bennu. I don't live in the asteroid belt. I orbit between Earth and Mars. I'm known as a near-Earth asteroid because from Earth, I'm not that far. NASA's OSIRIS-REx visited me in 2018 and made a discovery. I shoot out plumes of dust that create a haze around. I'm Itokawa, and I'm a near-Earth asteroid, too. I might collide with Earth someday, but we've got about a million years before I do. I'm the first asteroid from which actual samples were taken from me. Now they're back on Earth for scientists to study. Asteroids range in size from really large to really small. But if you measured the mass of each asteroid and added up them all, the entire mass of all the asteroids in the asteroid belt combined is less than the mass of our moon Luna. That totally blows my mind. Not all the asteroids in the solar system are in the asteroid belt. There are near-Earth asteroids inside the belt and other groups further out. Made up of different rocks and metals, each asteroid is unique. Let's go and find some more and see who else we meet. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space in an expansive void. Most of them won't hit us, so don't be paranoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go meet some more asteroids. Patroclus and Manishi, yes, we're binary asteroids. We're not from the asteroid belt, but further out Trojan asteroids. We share Jupiter's orbit in our journey around the sun. It's a much longer orbit than the asteroid belt, but together it's lots more fun. I'm Coleco, not from the asteroid belt or Trojans. I live beyond this. I'm a member of an asteroid class known as Centaurs between Saturn and Uranus. I'm also very unique because of a very special feature you see. I'm the first asteroid to be discovered with rings. I have two around me. I'm near-Earth asteroid Apophis and will pass by Earth in 2029. But don't worry, I won't hit you. I just want to say hi. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go and meet the asteroids. Sometimes you look up into the night sky and see something amazing passing by. 
brighter and closer than any star Traveling our solar system from very far A nucleus made from frozen gas, rock and ice Tail streaming behind them that look so nice What are these bright visitors in the sky? Where did they come from, how and why? We are comets, travelers way up high Cosmic snow Lucky in 2061, you can see me reappear. I pass by the Earth every 76 years. A periodic comet, I keep coming back. With an orbit less than 200 years, I'm easy to track. When Earth passes through my tail debris, it creates the oil and meteor shower for you to see. I'm Hale Bop, I come from the Oort cloud. I have a large white nucleus that shines big and proud. In 1996, I lit up Earth's sky. For 19 months, you can see me fly by. I'm on my way back out past Blue. Oh, I have a really long way left to go One orbit around the sun is more than 2,000 years During your lifetime I won't reappear Hayao Kutake is my name with my epic comet tail More than 500 million kilometers I leave my trail The Ulysses spacecraft found this and more that amazed I'm the first comet to be discovered emitting X-rays The great comet of 96 I appeared in Earth's sky Just before Hale Bach made his fly by A long period comet won't be back soon I fear Due to gravitational pulls it may be 72,000 years Starts. The coma is a cloud of gas and dust from melted ice that surrounds the nucleus, making it look big and bright. Their ice melts more the closer they get to the sun. Their tails start to form, they actually have more than one. A visible dust tail that the coma leaves behind, and an ion gas tail that solar winds help define. We are comets, travelers way up high, cosmic snow. You may have heard of me I'm a daredevil comet I live on the edge, you see At my last perihelion The closest I got to the sun I tried a new stunt That I thought would be fun I plunged through the sun's corona To everyone's surprise They thought I wouldn't make it But I did, I survived My secret was discovered I release alcohol I keep traveling through space Even though I am small I'm Shoemaker Levy Or all that's left over Most of me crashed on Jupiter in 1994 When I passed Jupiter I got caught in his gravity And collided with him Which broke me up totally My name is Enki And I am reliable A periodic comet That orbits every three years or so I passed Earth recently But don't worry if you missed it My orbital period's short So I'll be back soon to visit I'm Temple One I'm from the Jupiter system That's as far as I get from the sun My aphelion I'm a periodic comet A five and a half year orbit A probe was sent to study me Its name was Deep Impact Comet McNaught I passed Earth in 2007 One of the brightest comet seen, I lit up the heavens. Also one of the largest comets to pass Earth by. The great comet of 2007, I build up the sky. My name is Swift Tuttle, I'm one Earth should fear. I'm a periodic comet, I orbit every 133 years. Our orbits intercept, there's nowhere to hide. It's possible one day Earth and I will collide. That won't happen for hundreds of years though. Both Earth and I still have a long way to go. Earth passes through my trail every July and August. The Perseid meter shower is my leftover dust. seen a shooting star falling from the sky it's traveled very far streaking through the blackness both beautiful and bizarre like stars that fell out of the sky do you know what they are falling stars aren't really stars at all they're pieces of rock and debris that are very small they enter the atmosphere and as they burn up in the sky 
they light up a long trail of fire as they streak by. Shooting stars are actually called meteors, that's right. Space debris burning up in Earth's atmosphere, both dim and bright. When Earth passes through a comet's tail or other space debris, a shower of meteors in the night is what you will see. Let's go watch a meteor shower. Raining from the skies, you can watch for hours. Let's go try and spot a shooting star. Then you can make a wish right where you are. Let's go watch a meteor shower. Raining from the skies, you can watch for hours. Let's go try and spot a shooting star. Then you can make a wish right where you are. Meteoroids are small rocks or particles orbiting the sun. When it enters Earth's atmosphere, a meteor is what it becomes. If the meteor survives the fall and makes it to the ground, it's called a meteorite, a piece from space that can be found. Meteoroids, the debris in space, meteors fire in the sky. Meteorites are the pieces that land on Earth and survive. Meteoroids, the debris in space, meteors fire in the sky. Meteorites are the pieces that land on Earth and survive. Let's go watch a meteor shower. Raining from the skies, you can watch for hours. Let's go try and spot a shooting star. Then you can make a wish right where you are. Every year there's lots of meteor showers you can see. When the Earth passes through fields of different cosmic debris. These events are fairly common and happen regularly. And certain meteor showers we can watch annually. Quadrantids in January, Lyrids in April, Ada Aquarids are in May. Perseids in August, Orionids and Draconids in October on different days. Leonids in November, Geminids and Ursids in December. That's a lot of meteor showers for me to remember. Meteor showers are named for the constellation where they seem to come from. But the debris is actually much closer orbiting the sun. The names are just a way to tell where to look up in the sky. When you want to see a meteor shower in the night. Meteoroids, the debris in space, meteors fire in the sky. Meteorites are the pieces that land on Earth and survive. Meteoroids, the debris in space, meteors fire in the sky. Meteorites are the pieces that land on Earth and survive. Let's go watch a meteor shower. Raining from the skies, you can watch for hours. Let's go try and spot a shooting star. Then you can make a wish right where you are. Let's go watch a meteor shower. Raining from the skies, you can watch for hours. Let's go try and spot a shooting star. Then you can make a wish right where you are. Have you ever seen a shooting star? Falling from the sky, it's traveled very far. Streaking through the blackness, both beautiful and bizarre. Like stars that fell from the sky, now you know what they are. Let's go watch a meteor shower. Raining from the sky, you can watch for hours. Let's go try and spot a shooting star. Then you can make a wish right where you are. Between Mars and Jupiter, there is a large void, an area to study that astronomers enjoy. A gap with a ring made up of millions of planetoids, or also known as a belt of asteroids. Hurtling through space in their orbit round the sun, these large irregularly shaped rocks have a lot of fun. Made up of different rocks and metals, each asteroid is unique. Let's go out and find some and see who we can meet. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space in an expansive void. Most of them won't hit us, so don't be paranoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go meet more asteroids. I'm Eros, a near-Earth asteroid, one of the largest ones known. The inner asteroid belt is where I make my home. 
I was the first asteroid to ever have a spacecraft land on me. Near Shoemaker landed on my surface after almost a year of study. Entirety is their name. We're special because we're a double asteroid. We're twins, almost equal in shape and size, together in the void. We have a circular orbit around each other and we hold on tight as we travel together through the outer asteroid belt, swirling through the night. I'm Sylvia from the asteroid belt, and I'm very special too. The first asteroid discovered to have more than one moon, I have too. Their names are Romulus and Venus, and they orbit me. I'm a collection of very loose rock, a rubble pile, and I have very low density. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space in an expansive void. A collision with one is something Earth should avoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go and meet some more asteroids. I'm Evie, a large asteroid from an unstable part of the asteroid belt. I'm very bulky and dense and have very few impact collisions that I've felt. Impacts I suffer are affected by Jupiter's gravity and the pieces launched all about, which make up a large amount of meteorites that hit the Earth. You better look out! I'm Cleopatra from the asteroid belt. I'm known for my very odd shape. A cross between a dog bone and a dumbbell is the form I take. I have two moons to keep me company and stay by my side. Cleo Selene and Alex Helios are their names, and I'm their guide. I'm Icarus. I'm not from the asteroid belt centaurs or Trojans, you see. I have an eccentric orbit, and I come closer to the sun than Mercury. The first Mercury-crossing asteroid discovered, I also crossed paths with Venus, Earth, and Mars. On a near-Earth approach, I was the first asteroid observed by radar. There are hundreds of thousands known asteroids in our solar system alone. Most of them are located in the asteroid belt, but that's not their only home. Some called centaurs are between Uranus and Saturn, and the Trojans follow Jupiter around. Apollo objects cross Earth's orbit, but hopefully won't hit the ground. Oddly shaped rock asteroids are not all that you will find. Some are hybrids that have other traits and classifications combined. Some don't act like an asteroid should with odd orbit or color or size. Some are just unique nonconformists and you won't believe your eyes. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space in an expansive void. Most of them won't hit us, so don't be paranoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go meet some more asteroids. I'm Chiron. I'm called an asteroid, but I'm a rare speciality. I'm also known as a comet because I'm icy and have a coma around me. I'm classified as a centaur because I reside between Uranus and Saturn, and I may also have rings, though they're not yet confirmed. I'm Phaethon, a rebel, an asteroid comet hybrid, that's me. My elliptical orbit brings me closer to the sun than any other named asteroid would dare to be. I'm the source of the Geminids meteor shower, which is a bit strange. I'm also blue, not brown, or gray, and was the first asteroid discovered by spacecraft in space. I'm Katrina. I'm Mr. Spock from the asteroid belt. Just here for a quick chat. I'm the first asteroid named after a dog. Oh, I was named after a cat. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go and meet the asteroids. Sometimes you look up into the night sky and see something amazing passing by. Brighter and closer than any star, traveling our solar system from very far. A nucleus made from frozen gas, rock, and ice. Tails streaming behind them that look so nice. What are these bright visitors in the sky? Where did they come from? How and why? They are coming, travelers I just passed by in 2020. You would have seen me in the sky. Both my curved ass tail and straight blue iron tail were visible, making me look very mysterious and mystical. July of 2020, I reached perihelion. That is the closest that I got to your sun. A long period comet on my way back to outer space. It'll be thousands of years before I return to this place. I'm Comet Leonard and I'm newly discovered. Only I know the secrets you have yet to uncover. Passing by Earth in December 2021, and then my path continues onward to the sun. I'm excited. 
excited about my trip and want to put on a nice show. As I get closer, my brightness will continue to grow. I have a hyperbolic orbit, I'll only visit Earth one time, then back to deep space for the next adventure of mine. 67P Trivium of Gators and Minko. You'll find that I am incredibly special. I'm the first stop to have a spacecraft land on me. The Rosetta spacecraft mission got amazing pictures to see. I also have a feature that is very unique. I have a far ultraviolet aurora around me. And one image captured a small chunk of debris, a tiny friend nicknamed Trio Moon orbiting me. Comets are just... By their orbit around the sun The closest they get to the sun is called their perihelion When comets move farther away from the sun The farthest point from the sun is called the aphelion They look like they have one tail But really have two A curved gray dust tail and a straight iron tail that's blue Comet tails will always point away from the sun Because of solar winds and pressure of radiation Comets Travelers Way Up high Cosmic snow I'm shaped like a flattened sphere. My orbit around the sun takes me about six and a half years. Scientists collected the first samples of a comet's tail for me. NASA's Stardust Pro brought it back to Earth to study. A comet Borelli? And I have an odd shape. Not round like a sphere. I'm shaped like a chicken leg. A Jupiter family comet. My orbit takes about 2,500 days, so I'll be back soon to astound and amaze. I'm Donati, the comet of 1858, known as one of the most beautiful comets seen to date. I was the first comet ever to be photographed to see, and I inspired artists to paint the glorious sight that was me. When I visited Earth, I I stayed a very long while, shining brighter and brighter to show off my style. I'm a long period comet and won't be back soon, I fear. I won't be seen again on Earth for nearly 1,600 years. 21 more, so I'm a long comet. I'm misunderstood. Because I've formed around another star, I'm not from your neighborhood. An interstellar comet from beyond your solar system that's me. My composition and origin are both a mystery. I'm Comet Temple Tuttle, and I've left a gift behind. Every November, you can see remnants of this tale of mine. The annual Leonid meter shower is my gift to you. Multitudes of shooting stars streaming across the sky. Comet Sarah Bond, the great comet of 1729. I am remembered for my brightness and my size. I was one of the largest and brightest comets ever seen. But there are other thousand comets out there even bigger than me. A newly discovered comet, Bernard and Ellie Bernstein. On my way in towards Saturn, I'm massive in size. I'm one of the largest known comets discovered yet. From the Oort cloud, I'm an outer solar system comet. Oh, yeah. Oh